today we're testing a trend that has over a billion views. We have been on keto for a while, and when we ask other people what they miss, they typically say pasta or noodles. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, I don't miss pasta at all. This video is not for you, it's for the rest of us. But watch anyway. In the past couple years, Sarah and I have tried a variety of different noodle recipes on this channel, whether it's veggies as noodles or even carnivore noodles. But a couple months ago, Sarah and I discovered a product that we actually fell in love with, and that's called Imi Ramen. We actually purchased these, and we purchased them in bulk because I love having them in the cabinet for an easy, quick meal. I purchased 12 at a time. <laughs> and so many of you guys have tried the noodles and really, really love them because they have the same bite and texture as a normal noodle. A couple months ago, we actually bought this and tried it in the first video that we made on our channel about this product. And we made Panda Express's chow mein and we loved it and so many of you guys did too because a lot of you guys said that you ordered it right after that video using our code and our link ramen is having its moment here on the social media webs you know what i mean it has like over a billion views on this thing that they're calling upgrade your instant ramen noodles and a lot of the time we feel left out when we're keto because i see a lot of these hacks and i go there's no way to make that keto but in this case there is because of this product. I know that a lot of people are going to complain about the price of the Emmy Ramen, but it's a small company. It is good and it is worth it. If you don't have like the means to afford this, you might want to try zucchini noodle or something else in this mixture that we're going to make to experience the same type of hack, but we're going to be using the Emmy Ramen. So there's so many variations of this hack, but we decided to just go with what our heart was saying and our heart told us to stop on this video. It was quite intriguing because I've never seen this combination in ramen noodles before. So this video has 9 million views on it. It's by Soka Lin's Kitchen, and we're going to be leaving a link to this creator in the description below if you want to check out her videos but you are going to be needing ramen, preferably with a spice packet, olive oil, garlic, oyster sauce. We actually found an oyster sauce which has a pretty low amount of carbs in it. We can link it below. Green onion, Thai basil, and this is where it gets kind of weird. You're gonna be needing sliced mozzarella and sharp cheddar. You do not find that in Asian cuisine, but apparently it's getting more popular to find cheese in Asian cuisine. So we can't wait to get started with this recipe and we are going to try it now, but if you guys wanna know more about Emmy, this packet has five grams of net carbs, 21 grams of protein, 300 calories, 24 total carbs, and 19 grams of fiber. Some of you guys who count total carbs might be like, that's way too many carbs. But honestly, Sarah and I live a technically keto lifestyle. We made that up, where we are very relaxed about how we do keto. We like to incorporate things like this to keep us going. And so we count net carbs. It has just been a very adaptable lifestyle for us. So if you are in for the ride of being technically keto, not trademarked, please hit the subscribe button. We are really hoping to get to 250,000 subscribers this year. Subscribe Subscribing is free, but it just supports our channel. It's just clicking a button. So you're gonna to wanna to heat up your pan on medium heat. Into that, you're gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna wait until the olive oil is nice and hot, and then we're gonna add in our minced garlic. We're adding about a tablespoon. In the recipe, she doesn't really give that much of specific instructions or measurements, but I can pretty much guesstimate how much she's using. Depending on what you like, maybe adjust the recipe how you see fit. Next up, we added in our oyster sauce, 1.5 cups of water, and then some fish sauce. We stirred that all together and we're bringing it to a boil. It smells so fragrant and lovely in the house right now, I love it. We're actually gonna deviate from the creator's recipe at this point because she puts in the noodles first and then adds in the spice packet, but I found it's way easier to dissolve the spice packet if you put it in first. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sprinkle in the spice packet, wait until it dissolves, and then we're gonna drop in our noodles. It's slightly green, but don't judge it yet. <laughs> So Sarah's husband was just in the refrigerator and he was commenting about how fragrant this was. And so we are gonna make him some. I told him actually, we don't have enough for you. And then Sarah pulled out her last package before our new one comes and it says, saving for video. Don't eat me. Smelling good. I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna cook it for three more minutes. It has reduced quite a bit and as you can see, it's brown now, not green. So it is absorbing those flavors. So this is where the recipe kind of gets a little weird. We are gonna be adding cheese to this mixture. She said add whatever you feel like. So I'm gonna add a handful of cheddar and then I'm gonna add a couple of slices of mozzarella. Cheddar is going in. Not a common ingredient in Asian cuisine. It's 
fusion. Yeah, like us. We're Asian American fusion. So I put two slices of cheese on it. I don't want it to go too crazy. Once the cheese is melted, which is about a minute, we're going to plate this up. I'm going to add in some green onions on top. We're gonna to add on some Thai basil. You could use cilantro if you can't find Thai basil. And then we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try this cheesy ramen hack. Cheesy ramen. Never tried this before, but at its basis, it's noodles cheese, which I have tried before. The noodles really held up well, I think. Mm -hmm. That sauce really reduced down. It smells really good in here. It smells like we ordered Thai food mm -hmm. or something. I'm looking for the end of this noodle. It's never ending. <laughs> Get some green onion, some basil in this bite. Bone appetit. Mmm. It's really mm. flavorful. You know, I'm not like getting the cheese anymore, but it has kind of melted into this sauce that's coating every noodle, which is really, really nice. It's like creamy, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I'm really liking this so far. Honestly, I will say that we kind of cooked this for a long time. You know, between cooking and filming everything, we probably cooked this for like 11 or 12 minutes, which is double the amount of time you're supposed to be cooking this noodles, but they are still yeah. really, really good. They're not overly soft. They held their shape. We are sharing one package of this, but typically if I make this at home, I will just eat the entire package. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. I did not expect to like this. I don't know, maybe sometimes I'm afraid of like some of the flavor combinations. I do have like a slight fish intolerance. Anything with fish kind of scares me a bit. Yeah. The Thai basil is really good here too. Mm -hmm. I guess I recognize that flavor in other recipes that I've had before in the past, like pad thai, but I didn't know that that was the basil that was causing that. So yeah, it's really fresh and delicious in here. The creator of the recipe added eggs too. So if right. you wanted to add more protein to this dish, you could have beef in here or you could add protein like eggs. Right. Tofu would go really good in here too. I don't think we've ever made tofu on our channel. No. We used to eat tofu a lot when we were growing up. Mm-hmm. Mm. I really like it. I really, really like it. It kind of reminds me of the carbonara. Mm -hmm. It's got that creamy sauce on top. Really, really good. I think that at its essence, it just goes to show like how versatile these noodles are and that you can use them for a variety of dishes, which we love. And it just shows that just because you're keto, it doesn't mean that you can't take some of these viral trends and incorporate them into your lifestyle. And just because they're not tagged as keto doesn't mean that you can't make it so. There's rarely been recipes where we said there is no way that we can make that keto through some kind of hack. A lot of the legwork is typically done by other creators and then we can just like tweak it using their recipes. And this is just an example of that. So this was really delicious. If you guys are thinking about purchasing Emmy, you can use our link in the description and code Keto Twins for a small discount. And if you guys come across any cool ramen hacks, there are people doing really weird stuff with ramen. I heard that they like cook them and then deep fry them and then eat them as like a taco or something, mm. a tostada I saw. That looks really interesting. If you see any recipes that you want us to try using the ramen, let us know in the comment section below. And if you want to see us make Panda Express's chow mein using Emmy ramen, you can click right here and we will see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Keto Twins, twins signing, signing out. out. I think you got more than me. Snooze or you lose. I'm the one that plated the dishes well, though. You gave me this one though. It's not like I took it. But thanks. <laughs>